Okay, we're going to do errors today, okay? And you basically declare an error the same way you declare a struct or um, an enum. And, all right, what I find interesting about here is, um, what I find interesting about Zig is there is a try method and there's a, a catch, you know, but there's no such thing as like an exception. But these two are separate from each other, you know, try and catch are usually together. But they're they're separate from each other in Zig, okay? And you pretty much catch kind of like this, right here. You catch and you use an anonymous, uh, yeah, anonymous not a, yeah, anonymous function or whatever. And um, that's how you catch errors. You can do a catch unreachable. We're gonna get into some code here too. And where was the other one? Uh, Okay, I think that was it, right? All right, so let's jump into some code so I can kind of like, um, you know, I can demonstrate this because it's a, it's a little quirky or it's a little different from many, uh, you know, many of the other languages. Okay, so let's get in here and let's go like do it like we're used to it. std equals at import std okay now we're going to create uh let's just call this const uh num error okay and we'll declare this as an error we'll declare this as an error okay and we'll say not one okay all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get a make a function here function okay we'll say is one and then we'll take uh, we'll take in a number and u30 u32 all right the only thing that this function is going to do is uh, check if a number is one if it's any other thing if it's anything other than one it's going to return uh, uh, an error okay so let's do it like this. So we'll put num error, or it will return a boolean. Okay. And I, I just I just saw the other day that uh, in the latest version of or the next version or the latest update of Zig, they'll be taking out the bool keyword. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. Maybe I'll do a video separately on that because it was a Twitter post by Andrew Killey. And um, so we're probably going to have to change up how we're going to do this right here, right? Okay, so we'll do a, a if uh, n is not equal to 1, then we will return a uh, num error dot not, not 1. Okay, and if it is, we'll return true. Okay, there we go. So let's just put in our public function, our, our main function, public main, public fn main, and we'll test this out. Okay. Okay. All right, now. Just add this code, you know, we're going to just do this as a truthy statement. So if this is not equal to 1, then it's going to return an error. But if it's equal to 1, it's going to return true, right? So we're just going to do it like regular. and uh, Or, you know, we're going <clears> to, <throat> where this is true, it's going to be 1 that you put into this function. So it is 1. And let's see what comes out, right? We're not doing anything special here. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't. I didn't save it. Okay. There we go. Is on is. Let me just clear that out. Let me clear that. You know, clarify this. In on is. Um, let's put X in here. X on is one is true. X1 is 1 is true, okay? 
So let's make this false. So we're going to put a 5 in here. Okay. So let's see what happens. You know what? Let's just put this flash in so that it puts that uh, input on the next, or the output on the next line. Okay. So it's going to return the actual enum or like an enum error dot, you know, error dot not one. Okay. All right, so the first thing we can do to try to get this um, get this to go, or to, to catch this error, is we'll use the try block. Now, let me see, where is this? All right, all right. Now try, uh, tr okay. Try evaluates an error in the union expression. If it's an error, it returns the current function with that same error. Otherwise, the results, uh, <coughs> expression results in an un uh, unwrap the value. Maybe you know a complete certain expression that will never, okay, that will never be an error. In this case, you do this. Okay, well, that's something different. Okay. All right, so we know this is going to be an error, so this is not going to compile, or this is not going to run. So, you see? But if we make this true... And there we go okay and then if we know that this variable like we would use this in a case use this in a case we're using uh, when we're down with OPP other people's uh, projects or other people's code um, so we can use catch unreachable as well okay and this is just gonna go because we know this is always gonna be true right here so if we put in a false right here, it's going to be, uh, if we're going to make this false, it's, you know, it's going to blow up at us, you know, compiled and core dump the program, okay? All right, so the next thing we can do is there's another way to do this catch statement, right? So we can put catch, and if it's false, or if, if it catches an error, we can return a, uh, we can return We can return a value, okay? So let's uh, let's run that. Okay. All right. Now, just add this code. You know, we're gonna just do this as a truthy statement. So, if this is not equal to one, then it's gonna return an error. But if it's equal to one, it's gonna return true, right? So we're just gonna do it like regular, and uh, or you know, we're gonna. Have <clears throat> where this is true, it's going to be one that you put into this function. So it is one. And let's see what comes out, right? We're not doing anything special here. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't, I didn't save it. Okay. There we go. Is on is. Let me just clear that out. Let me clear that, you know, clarify this. And on is, mm, let's put X in here. X one is one is true. X one is one is true. Okay. So let's make this false. So we're going to put five in here. Okay. So let's see what happens. You know, let's just put this and so that it puts the uh, input on the next or the output on the next line. Okay, so it's going to return the actual enum or like an enum error dot you know error dot not one. Okay. All right. So the first thing we can do to try to get this um, get this to go or to to catch this error is we'll use the try block. Now. Let me see, where is this? All right. All right, now try, uh, tr okay. Try evaluates an error in the union expression. If it's an error, it returns the current function with that same error. Otherwise, the results, uh, <coughs> expression results in an un uh, unwrap the value. 
Maybe you know a complete certain expression that will never, okay. That will never be an error. In this case, you do this. Okay, well, that's something different. Okay. All right, so we know this is going to be an error, so this is not going to compile, or this is not going to run. So, you see? But if we make this true, and there we go, okay? And then if we know that this variable, like, we would use this in a case, use this in a case we're using, uh, when we're down with OPP, other people's uh, projects, or other people's code. Um, so we can use catch unreachable as well, okay? And this is just going to go, because we know this is always going to be true right here. So if we put in a false right here, it's going to be, uh, if we're going to make this false, it's, you know, it's going to blow up at us. You know, compiled and core dumped the program, okay? All right, so the next thing we can do is there's another way to do this catch statement, right? So we can put catch, and if it's false, or if, if it catches an error, we can return a, uh, we can return We can return a value, okay? So let's uh, let's run that. So this is gonna this is this is gonna this is gonna run because it is one, so it's gonna turn out true. Okay, so now let's try this with five. Okay. Bam, and it turns out false for us right here, right? All right, you can also catch catch the error and do something not just crash the program like the try block and do something actually with it so let's just put std dot debug dot print we'll put program had an error okay so this is going to catch the error here okay Put that in there, and then you just you just return nothing. You return void. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, program had an error, so that's basically how you catch the error. You know, uh, the difference between this and try. Uh, try is gonna try is gonna let the error bubble up, and it's gonna return the main function with an error. Okay. Right, and then we have another keyword error defer okay all right error defer works like defer but only executing when the function is returned with an error inside of the error defers block okay so in order for us to use this okay so we see if we get an error which we do because it's five and we're only looking for one okay and we get program had an error so we're gonna do uh, I run surprise but oh well what we're gonna do to put error defer uh, std dot debug dot print error from inside function Okay, so basically what's going to happen here is it's going to defer this until, uh, if this returns an error, it's going to defer this until the end of this function. Okay? And, and that, that's pretty much it. And then it'll, um, then when you, okay, so it'll return this first if there's an error, right? And then once you catch the error, it'll print this out. But but this will print out first so here we go error from inside function you know let me just put a n on there all right so you can see how that works there all right any questions uh, drop me some uh, drop you know leave it in the comments
and uh, thank you for your time and attention.